As Black Friday came to an end, so did the career of one local man who actually opposes the crazy shopping day. People went inside to shop, but he stood outside. He braved the cold with the best deal of all. While some racked up a bill this Black Friday, others searched the racks. We decided to, to do winter coats and it struck a chord and it's it's become something of an institution. The Buy Nothing Day Winter Coat Exchange has become a Rhode Island ritual. You can either take a jacket for free hey, go, sir. or you can donate one. We figure probably in 20 years between our site and all the other sites around the state, probably 50,000 winter coats have been handed on. As has the message of consuming less and sharing more. Greg Garrett has run the event since 1997. When when the idea was hatched during a meeting of the state's Green Party. Here in the richest country in the world, why do people need coats? That question propelled his movement. It now comprises hundreds of volunteers who serve as 14 sites stocked full of coats each Black Friday. We basically have done this completely on volunteer efforts. And after 20 years, the exchange's biggest volunteer is zipping up a career. I can't do it forever. Somebody's got to take it over at some point. I figured the best time to give something up is when it's like cooking. At 63 years old, Garrett says he's proud of the product he's watched grow. He says the mission of the exchange is to pass it on, and that's exactly what he now plans to do. What else do you do? You have to pass it forward. Mm -hmm. You can't keep it with you. You know, take it with you when you're gone. No. All you can do is give it away. And I asked Garrett on Friday whether this moment is bittersweet. He said it's not. It's just extremely sweet. He said he'll still be back next year to volunteer, but he's really excited to see what these new volunteers have in store. In the control room, Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.